All right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Lamax Halloween Companions. Let's get into it. Okay. So just to start, you know, like I've told you guys before, on this channel we like to explore all aspects of villaging, hence the name Villages and More. So it's not just going to be houses all the time, I want to experiment with other things and get some feedback from you. And one of the things I wanted to try was accessories and figures and things like that. So starting that trend today, we're going to start sprinkling that in. We're going to start with the Lamax Halloween Companion. So. This piece here is really, really cool. It holds some great sizing, overall very satisfying, and could be a real cool addition to any spooky town village. So let's start out with some of the basics here. It was released in 2006 and was retired slash discontinued in 2014. So a hell of a run there, really. Um, it was under the SKU number 62205, and some dimensions on it are about two and a half high by about two and a half wide and 1.65 deep. Uh, this piece, like I told you earlier, that there's a lot of size here, but even past that, it's kind of like a two for one because it's not just like one figure. There's actually quite a few things going on. So you have the skeleton, of course, which we'll take a closer look at here in a second. You also have the cat, which normally has a tail, but for some reason it's a trend on this channel for the cats not to have tails. I don't know why that is, um, but this, you know, Pacific figure, just like that house that had the same issue, uh, was something from like a clearance kind of package thing. So it was broken off by the time we got it. Uh, but anyways, so skeleton, cat, uh, and two large pumpkins. And the one on the right has a cool little face attached to it. So let's take a little closer look here. And you'll notice right away some of the detail in the skeleton. Like, it is really, really obvious what's going on. The, the bones are defined, the, the face especially. I'm trying to get you a clear image, there it is. Uh, it's really defined, really cool. You can see there was some real effort put into it. And right down to the cat, I mean, look at the eyes. I'm trying to get as close as I can for you here without it blurring, but there is detail all the way around. It's like the trend with the Lamax is just awesome detail. And of course, pumpkins. Who doesn't love pumpkins? And this is a great opportunity to team this up with, you know, something like either a pumpkin patch or even like, you know, those light up LED pumpkins. There's like so many on a strand and you can place them around your village. That would be really cool. It'd fit in really well there. Also on the ground, there seems to be like some leaves and little, maybe a little pumpkin there or something like that. So a uh, really cool all the way around. I think, you know, with pieces like this, you know, when it comes to accessories and stuff and figures, it really plays a key role because it kind of like, let's say you have a really cool house, you know, and it really helps bring that little extra juice to it, you know, especially when they fit in with something really well. And in this case, there's a lot of opportunity because it's really spooky, right? It kind of gives you that Halloween feel. So almost a little eerie, really. But due to the pumpkins and the cat and things like that, it opens up the door to a lot of potential on where you can place it. So when you're looking at figures, always take that second to double, you know, go over it twice, you know, because there's really opportunity. A figure can really make or break a scene, you know. So this one I like because it leaves a lot of opportunity. Uh, you know, there's not too much more I can say other than it's really, really cool. I'm so glad we found one. Um, you never know what you're going to find on clearance, so keep an eye out. You know, sometimes there's some stock left over or something they forgot to put out. Or other times, you know, we've bought houses, you know, from a seller and they had some pieces they were throwing in with it. Uh, you know, so there's always different ways to, you know, get one of these. I'm sure online you can find them. Uh, but overall, really, really cool. I really like it. I'm hoping we can explore more figures and accessories and things like that. So anyways, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.